Oh, how's everybody? everybody okay. That's again, Randy. Uh, 16th, 16th time in school history, scores uh, 121 points, most points since 1996. <laughs> it was, as I say, it was going to be an entertaining game, and it was. It was a, uh, a lot of offense, and I thought there was some uh, some defense played there. But uh, but obviously they wanted to play up tempo, and we wanted to play up tempo. And I thought our guys, I thought our guys played well. I mean, we had some uh, some spots in there where we kind of kind of had a big lull. Uh, we stayed on a, you know, I think at 24 at one point in time. We stayed on 24 for quite a while. And then we inserted some more guys in there, and we got uh, some runs going. Uh, I thought defensively, uh, we gave them 35 points in the first half, and we scored 58. So I thought we we took advantage of what they was giving us in terms of you know they were pressing us, and I thought we got got a lot of transition stuff. We we really attacked. Uh, anytime you got 26 assists um, in a game of this magnitude, you. Uh, obviously, you, you say we shared the basketball. I thought we did, and we found the right guys at the right time. Uh, Isaiah Joe has a career high night, uh, and what a shooting display he put on. Uh, but I think if you go back to how the game started, it started off with a dunk inside on Daniel Gafford. So that means a lot of attention was paid uh, uh, to Daniel. And, uh, but he got in one of those zones, and our guys did a good job of uh, really finding him. So uh, good balance in scoring. We had two guys with double-doubles. Uh, had another guy almost uh, – Jalen Harris almost had a double-double. He had nine points, ten assists. Uh, uh, Daniel gets a double-double. Uh, and I think Mason Jones had a double-double. Uh, so, again, we had a lot of contribution from guys, uh, a lot of players on this basketball team. Adriel old just – just like an old old man out there, he just he's just consistent in what he does each and every night, and I think that's good that you know you got that. Bench came in and played well, played well. Again, you score 121 points. Uh, uh, obviously, there are some some things we're going to continue to work on. Like I said, we just got to learn how to play with a lead. We had a lead, and I thought uh, I thought we kind of got a little lax with it. But overall, energy, effort. At the seven, eight day layoff, uh, uh, I think we, we progressed a little bit. Questions? <clears throat> yeah, Mike, you guys got out to a pretty good start, and then I think Daniel got in foul trouble, and they cut it to 24 20, and then you guys outscored him 26 8. Isaiah had 14 points, I think three threes in that stretch. Uh, well, what do you think got him going, and how big was he? Well, I thought it was an opportunity for him to step up and, and uh, knock some shots, you know, taking what the defense was giving us. Uh, you know, obviously, with a team like that, they're going to make a run back at you. You know that. So, uh, I think you just got to stay the course. Like I said, we got stuck on 24 for a long period of time. And it's just a matter of time before we start making shots. Um, I thought we had some, some good lock looks. Uh, uh, then I thought at times we didn't have good movement on, on our offense. Uh, they do, their defense is, is, is really uh, – they switch a lot. And so what they do is they try to take away the perimeter. Uh, so you got to get the floor spaced out, and you got to be able to attack and, and, and get the ball to the right people. So I thought we just had a little bit more patience offensively. How big was it for Jordan Phillips to get a couple of buckets and, and – uh... Get some get some time in tonight. I think more about confidence. It ain't about the the buckets. It's how he got them. Uh, thought, you know, he got one on a fast break or got an offensive rebound, put it back in, and he had one shot clock running down. So you know, the more time he gets on the floor, the more comfortable he'll get. You know, his his deal is just get caught up with the speed of the game. I think that's where we we are with him, just getting caught up with the speed of the game. So it was I thought it was big for him because we're going to need him. I mean, you get a big guard like that that can handle the basketball. You know, he brought the ball up against their pressure defense uh, uh, and did some good things for us. Desi came off the bench and gave us some big minutes. Uh, Keyshawn, again, we're getting contribution from, from many, many guys. And uh, uh, I don't know if you realize that adds up. And all it does is kind of is strengthen our bench because now they're getting quality minutes in meaningful time. It's not necessarily just – and I don't equate having a 20-point lead as a game out of hand. No, it's not out of hand uh, because with a team like Florida International, and you got to give them credit, they're not going to quit. They're, they're not going to fight. You know, you got the beard kid out there, the number five kid. I mean, they, they uh, if there was a, a thing that we got to work on is just putting them on the free throw line. Uh, but the beauty of that is we got to the free throw line as well. Mike, Isaiah seems like a pretty humble kid. I mean, to have a big game like this, he seemed like, you know, he's keeping it in perspective. How, how do you think he's, his personality is 
on a night like this? I mean, he's grounded. I think he's well-rounded. I think his parents have done an excellent job with him. I think he just uh, he wants to, to, to be a, a great player, and he works at it, and uh, he stay, plays within himself. Uh, he's starting to show more and more some of the things he can do. You know, tonight you saw him handle the ball like a point guard. He's doing that. Um, and like an off guard. I mean, he's doing a lot of different things. Defensively, he's well-rounded. So I think he is humble. And, and uh, the two words I always talk about, he's humble and he's hungry. He's growing. He's getting better. I think he's, he's really maturing. And, uh, and we need that. We need him to grow up uh, for this basketball team. Yeah, is Isaiah one of the better guards that you've had, I guess, in terms of just moving without the ball and kind of freeing himself up for the shots he's getting? He's getting better. He's doing, he's doing a good job. I think, you know, as a, for a freshman to, to, to put himself in that position, I mean, he spaces the flow out. And, and I'll say it again, you know, having a guy, uh, uh, Dan, it makes a big difference. It opens that flow up. And you got to credit the other teammates that are willing the passers. I mean, there were times when I think when Mason went in there, he had a shot, but he made, you know, he, he turned down the, the, the good shot for a great shot. And obviously Isaiah was in that zone. And that's, as a coach, that's what you like to see. When a guy got that hot hand, you want to see that thing continue to, to, uh, to take place. And uh, he may not shoot it, uh, but if he touches it, it's going to draw attention to that defense. And who knows, we may start getting uh, easy layups. And we saw that tonight. We started getting some, some back cuts where guys are getting dunks. Uh, and, and of course, uh, you always got a guy like Dan in there uh, that can give you a, a basket. The job that Jalen keeps doing, the 10 to 1 turn, assist to turnovers today, just where he's at right now with what he's doing, facilitating. I, I think he can be one of the leading assist guys in the country if he keeps at that pace. And, uh, and all he got to do is just trust those other guys. And uh, they got to move without the basketball. We got to keep the tempo up. Uh, he's got, uh, he got pretty good vision. I mean, he's pretty clever with his passes, and I think uh, uh, he's taking pride in it. And, uh, and I think guys are taking pride in finishing off the passes that he does give to them, give him. Uh, so he just he brings a different element, you know, to our basketball team. And so uh, I just want to continue to encourage him to, to, to keep being that guy that uh, has been a playmaker, make other guys better. Anything else for Coach? All right. Y'all have a good evening. All right.